Let's talk about 13.5. Alright, I'm going to give you more control this time. I wonder if you can get a, get a whiteboard. Show me what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I can't. I don't know. Let's see here. Where was it on my commands? Where did I find it? Started this nonsense. No, I don't remember. We'll play with it next time, I guess. All right, I've got. Uh, oh, 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 and I hate this C1, C2 crud. I'm just going to go ahead and put numbers in everything, okay? C1 is three microfarads. There's another one over here, it's three microfarads. And then I've got something that goes on the middle, and it's two microfarads, I believe. Yeah, this one comes down here, and it's six microfarads. Six more microfarads. This is symmetric, that's good news. And then it comes down here, and it goes this way, and this way, and this is six microfarads. Six microfarads. Wow, I'm drawing it at an angle. This is great. Awesome. And there's B. Alright, so the question is find the total. Find the total capacitance. Nope. Determine the total charge stored if you have that. Which means I'm gonna oh, so it's find the equivalent capacitance at the start. Okay, so find the equivalent capacitance. What are we gonna do? Well, I got really confused because well, I started really watching your video and then you did video, like you did the sphere like thing for the cylinder thing. The cylinder thing. Um, Gauss's. Um, Gauss's. Ah. No, I was getting really confused. No, I, getting yeah, I hope confused. that's not what I did. That's not good. All right, well, I better change out that video. <laughs> Which one is that one? Uh, two, five. It's really weird. Okay, I'll have to go find it and see what I did with that. I don't know, you might have just been like talking about something else related to it, but that started. Oh, oh, oh that was 13, <laughs> that's 13.6, that's the next one. That's, that's, that's what you should both be doing tomorrow, I think. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole different, that's a whole different level of fun. Okay, yeah, no, we're not ready for that yet. Let's not do that. I'll go, I'll go check my video, see if I'm in the right place. Okay, I might have been watching. Okay, I might have been watching. Though. You might have been. You might not have been. I think. I think I, my son did this one, and I said, "Okay, go ahead." Oh, okay. Um, in which case, oh, okay. let's just go ahead and do this now, and then I'll record it and I'll throw it in the little box, and it'll be good. All right. How do I do? Uh, how do I figure out what the equivalence capacitance is? Well, what does that even mean? Well, what does that equivalence even mean? Capacity? What we did equivalent resistance we, for circuits. What would that mean? Mm. What is the total mm. resistance? If I replace this with one big capacitor, how fat, how big would it have to be for it to act the same way? What the rest? Okay, so okay, do so I just do like do I just do like, like sum them all up? Like sum yep, we start up. summing all up. So what am I gonna do? Okay, so okay, so for for the the like they're in parallel. Like they're in parallel. Right. Pop, pop. Um, What's in so parallel? You, so you what? Go ahead. What? Yeah. So. Yeah, in so like the top in like rectangle, the top rectangle mm -hmm. um, um, they're in parallel. Like, they're in parallel, like a lot of ways. A lot of ways. <laughs> okay, but if you picture an electron going through the system, and by the way, with capacitors, it's not really a legitimate way to look at it. But same way we did with resistors, mm -hmm. these two are in series, aren't mm -hmm. they? Yeah. And this yeah. is a series route, and yeah. these three routes yeah. are in parallel, right? Yes. So wouldn't I normally just figure out what these two are in series? Okay. If they're resistors, I'd add them up. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to have to do 1 over CT, but you know what I mean? Yeah. The procedure is yeah. the same. Uh, plus 1 over 6. I'm going to ignore the micros because I don't think they matter. Okay. Um, so this so gives can feel like 3 so and 6. Feel like right. 3 and 6. One half. Right. And then we'll throw a micro at the end. So it's the, the, the total capacitance of that would be 2, right? With this little loop on the right side? Yes. Okay. Yes. Therefore, this is also 2, right? Yeah. Same loop, right? Yeah. So then I've got two this way, two this way, two this way. How do I figure out my capacitance for the whole top rectangle? You just add them up. Add them up. Add so them CT up. would be equal to 2 plus 2 plus 2. Wow. Come on, Penn. You can do it. 6 uh, microfarads. Okay. So the whole top is 6 microfarads. 
Wait, is C? Wait, is C? Uh, like the third uh, path? Like in the, the middle? Path, yeah. In the middle? C3 and I think it was two. Oh, am I wrong? I, I showed yeah, it as two it's microfarads. It's two. Yeah, it is two, sorry. Yeah, so it's two, 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 and two. Uh, triple check me, because <laughs> when I was drawing, I was like getting all confused. So I'm glad I got one right. Uh, we're good? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the whole top is six microfarads. What about how am I going to attach it to the bottom thing? Um, and then the bottom, um, and then the you bottom, can either go, like, can either left, go or right. like, left or right. Right. So they'd be in parallel. So Those two are in parallel. How do I sum, sum capacitors that are in parallel? Do you just add them? So do you just 12? add them? So, so I get 12. CT, the bottom area is 12 microfarads. Yeah. So how do I figure out the total equivalent capacitance for the whole entire ugly thing? Well, technically they're in well, series, so you do one over. So you do one, one over six over. plus one over twelve. Um, wow. I just got to write slower. That's one four. Therefore, the total equivalent capacitance is going to be four microfarads. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now. Find the total charge stored on this on on everything. Total charge stored on everything. If I have forty-eight volts, the total charge, the total, total charge, charge of this whole entire system. Whole so can you just do? So can you just do? Equal CV? Yep. Q equals CV. So, so. Really want to use my calculator. I think I'm good there. Okay, good. Okay, perfect. That's what I got. Okay, all right. perfect. So that all makes sense so far? Okay, now we get we yeah. get into the land where capacitors are different. Then we just you have to start thinking really hard. Okay, okay. so it says here that okay. I also want to find the charge on C three. C three is this one right here. How do I find the capacitance on this little gel? Middle. Mm -hmm. Middle. Okay. okay. Well. Wait, you want to find the well, capacitance? No, sorry. How do I find the charge on that little gem right there? Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. Let's so, let's see. There. If there. So, we should find the full. Okay, so we, we should find the charge. full. Okay, we did. Total charge. Which is um, um, if it's in. What is it? If it's, it's in, in series. What is it? If it's in charge. series, it's the right. same charge. So the bottom and the top have so the same the charge. So the bottom and the top. So the have total the same top charge. and the total bottom have the same charge. I love that. Okay. So the bot okay, or the so um, the bot or the um, the top would just have one point nine two ten ten to the negative fourth divided by would two. Would it? Because right. they have the same charge, they have right. the charge total. Wait. What? They Wait, they what? each look. If I'm going to extract charge from the plates, this charge, this charge, and this charge, this these three plates have to give me the full charge. All right. Yeah, but does the whole big top rectangle yeah, but does just the have whole half big of the top full one? Does not have half of the full one. Not only that, but if you look here, the the capacitance total here mm -hmm. is larger than the top was. Wait, what? The Wait, capacitance what? for the bottom mm -hmm. was oh, larger than the capacitance bigger. in the top, so oh, there is bigger. probably more. Uh, there's, uh, there's let. There, <laughs> I don't even want to say, but they're different, right? Does that make sense? So it has different charge. So it has. Uh, well, charge. now what does have the same charge? Plates that are what? In series. In series, right? In so series. this plate. Plus this plate has to be this plate plus this plate plus this plate. I'm not sure that helps me much. Okay, yeah. Right? Um, 
but we know this whole thing up here has to have the same charge as this whole thing down here, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that's what you were saying more or less, but I think I, I wasn't sure. I was, you wanted to make it a half, and I was... Oh, no, I guess it is a half. Let me back well, up. Yeah. That's what I mean. The, like, the, well, yeah, the full That's thing. what I mean. Like, if the full yeah. thing... 1.92 can't the top I know it's like a whole bunch more plates I know it's like a whole bunch more plates but all of the bottom plates equals half could I entice you into a Kirchhoff yeah because we're debating whether or not these things are and I think you said the right thing and then I think I tried to dissuade you from it because I thought you meant something else um if I thought there's 48 volts going right here what if I lose 48 volts going from here to here right yeah made a B then yeah. I lose 48 volts if I do this, don't I? Yeah. Then I lose 48 volts if I go this yeah. way, correct? Yes. And we know yes. that the bottom here has, these two together have to have this full charge, right? Yes. Okay. So since yes. they have to have that charge, we know they have the exact same capacitance. Mm -hmm. We could assume that each one of those has half, couldn't we? Yeah. And if I did that, then I think yeah. we could get home, right? Yeah. And if they were different, then all yeah. I'd have to do is do two Kirchhoff's law, right? To figure yeah. it out if I had to do it that way. So I might say something along the lines of 48, oh, sorry, zero equals, because this is really messy, right? So I'm trying to avoid messy. Uh, Q over C. So Q1 over, we want to know the charge on that sucker? Okay, that's good. C, uh, C, which is two mic two microfarads, minus, and then we know this has to have half of it, right? This one down here. Yeah. So therefore, I could make the yeah. argument that it has point nine six times ten to the negative fourth coulombs per six times. 10 to the negative 6 farads. Well, wait, I have a question. This is where yes. I get a little confused. Well, wait, I have a question. Yes. This well, is where I get a little so confused. So, the 1.92 um, times, so times, uh -huh. times, times 10 to the negative 4th. The 1.92 times 10 to the negative 4th. That I can get... Let me, let me, let me jump ahead. in just a second, and then you finish your question. If, if I suck the charge out of the system, mm -hmm. okay, the charge is scattered all over these random plates, agreed? Yeah. The problem is that this, yeah. this, these little loops here cause a problem because the charge is going from that plate to that plate. This charge counts for that side, but it doesn't count anything for the other side. So things get really confusing fast. That said, I know this plate and this plate have to be able to give me my full charge, right? Yeah. Because when I suck charge out of the system, that's where it's going to come from. Yeah. Okay? So therefore, these yeah. two have to add up to the 1.92 times 10 to the negative fourth, I think it is. Mm -hmm. I wrote the top of it this problem. Right? Okay. So if they happen to be the same, I would take advantage of that. Oh, I was... They weren't the same, I'd have to write another Kirchhoff's law thing. And I'd have to have, you know, I'd have to have a Q1 and a Q2 and a Q3, right? And then I could say these two charges add up to that. Yeah. 1.92. But since they're the same, I'm just gonna cut it in half and call it a day. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Now that is horrific yeah. and worse than anything you're ever going to see on the AP test. Okay. That, that is, well, I shouldn't say that. Okay. They could ask something ridiculous like this, but okay. you got a minute and seven seconds for most problems. Eh, it took us a lot longer than a minute and seven seconds to do this problem. Hold Add on. in the fact that if they made a free response question, it'd be awfully focused on, on capacitors, which capacitors are a minor topic, so. We don't, are, aren't we not even taking the multiple choice? We don't, are, aren't we not? Yeah, you read, read all that? Tracing? Good, good on you. I don't know what we're doing. So here's the part that gets funky. Okay, we are um, we are literally.